Trump's frustration with Kim Kardashian, from BFFs to bitter enemies? Let's start with the obvious. Donald Trump and Kim Kardashian are not two names you'd expect to be in the same sentence, unless, of course, you're flipping through a tabloid. Yet here we are, caught in the middle of one of the most unusual friendships turned feuds the political and entertainment worlds have ever seen. From Trump's days as a reality TV mogul to Kardashian's reign as socialite royalty, their relationship has gone from, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, to I can't believe you didn't endorse me in 2020. Trump's frustration with Kardashian didn't just arise out of thin air. It was a slow build. The disappointment was nurtured over years of alliances, handshakes, and even presidential pardons. But in the end, like most Hollywood friendships, this one ended with a social media post. Yes, a simple Instagram story broke the camel's back, or in this case, the president's patience. A fractured relationship. Former President Donald Trump has never been one to hide his emotions especially when it comes to feeling betrayed. And betrayed he certainly does feel by none other than the queen of selfies herself, Kim Kardashian. Trump recently aired his frustration publicly, lamenting how Kardashian, who once collaborated with him on prison reform, decided to gas celebrate Joe Biden's 2020 victory with nothing less than three blue heart emojis. Yes, folks, three. It was the social media equivalent of a slap in the face for the man who once proudly gave her access to the White House. In Trump's world, loyalty is everything. You're either with him or you're against him, and there's very little room for nuance in between. That's why seeing Kardashian celebrate Biden's win didn't just sting, it burned. Trump had gone out of his way to help her, and in his mind, she owed him something a bit more substantial than silence during one of the most contentious elections in American history. The Blue Heart Emoji Debacle now let's talk about that infamous Instagram post. It wasn't a long essay or a formal statement, but just three little emojis. But oh, did those emojis speak volumes. Kardashian, who had been quiet about her political preferences in the lead up to the 2020 election, couldn't resist posting those symbolic blue hearts after Biden's victory. To any regular Instagram user, the post might have looked like a standard congratulatory gesture. No big deal. But to Trump, those emojis were knives, carefully crafted to pierce his heart. I was disappointed in Kim, Trump later admitted, in a surprisingly candid moment of vulnerability. For a man who rarely shows cracks in his armor, it was clear that Kardashian's public alignment with Biden felt like a betrayal on a personal level. After all, this was a woman who he had gone out of his way to help, a woman who had come to the White House, shaken hands with him, and worked on prison reform. To Trump, those blue hearts represented not just Biden's victory, but a personal defeat. This wasn't just any disappointment. It was like when your best friend doesn't show up for your birthday party after you've already gone all out to throw them the best party of their life. Except in this case, the party involved presidential pardons and prison reform. The irony is that Kardashian didn't even make a grand announcement. She simply posted some emojis. Yet those were enough to push Trump over the edge. Trump and Kanye West, the bond that broke before? We get too deep into Trump's Kardashian-shaped heartbreak. Let's talk about his relationship with Kanye West, Kim's now ex-husband. In case you missed it, Trump and Kanye were basically brothers in arms. Kanye proudly wore the MAGA hat, endorsed Trump, and even made a bizarre but memorable visit to the Oval Office. Kanye's support was a big deal for Trump. After all, Kanye wasn't just a celebrity, he was a celebrity, with fans across all demographics. There was a time when Kanye West was Trump's most famous and most vocal celebrity ally. The rapper was one of the few people from the entertainment industry who stood by Trump's side when the rest of Hollywood was throwing tomatoes at him, metaphorically speaking, of course, from their bizarre on-camera meeting in the Oval Office where Kanye rambled on about everything from mental health to his superhero aspirations, to Kanye's open endorsement of Trump, the two men shared a peculiar bond. But here's where things got messy. Kanye's own political ambitions began to overshadow his support for Trump. His half-hearted presidential run and later controversies, like his anti-Semitic rants, didn't sit well with Trump, who eventually distanced himself from the rapper. Yet Kanye's exit didn't hurt as much as Kim's betrayal. 
As Trump put it, I got along with her then husband. He endorsed me and all that stuff. But Kim, she broke his heart with those tiny blue hearts. Hollywood acceptance over loyalty? Trump believes Kardashian's snub was motivated by one thing, the desire to be accepted by Hollywood. Now, we all know Kim thrives in Hollywood circles, but according to Trump, this need for acceptance was so strong that she didn't support him publicly when it mattered most. As Trump remarked in one interview, in order to be accepted by Hollywood, she didn't endorse me. It's almost as if Trump expected Kardashian to ride into the sunset with him, MAGA hat in hand, forgetting one small detail. Hollywood loves blue. In Trump's eyes, Kardashian's decision to distance herself from him wasn't just political, it was personal. He seemed to genuinely believe that their collaboration on prison reform meant something more profound, something deeper. After all, wasn't he the one who helped her when no one else could? Trump had done what few other presidents before him had dared. He had used the power of his office to help a reality TV star achieve one of her biggest goals. And now she had turned her back on him. But there's one glaring problem with Trump's assessment. Kardashian never truly aligned herself with him politically. Sure, they collaborated on prison reform, but that doesn't mean Kim was secretly MAGA. In fact, Kardashian has always leaned more progressive, supporting Hillary Clinton in 2016 and keeping her distance from Trump's more controversial policies. Prison reform, Trump and Kardashian's big moment. Speaking of prison reform, let's take a step back to 2018, when Trump and Kardashian seemed like an unlikely but unstoppable team. Kardashian, inspired by her law studies and a passion for criminal justice reform, took up the cause of pardoning Alice Marie Johnson, a grandmother serving a life sentence for nonviolent drug offenses. With the help of Trump and his administration, Kardashian was able to secure Johnson's pardon. This was a major win for both sides. Kardashian could flaunt her influence and newfound status as a criminal justice warrior, and Trump could bask in the glory of having done something presidential. The media ate it up. Kim Kardashian, dressed in sleek business attire, was seen leaving the White House with a smile, while Trump stood proud of his People's President title. Both got what they wanted from the exchange. Kim looked like a hero, and Trump got some positive press in the middle of a chaotic presidency. But even then, Kim wasn't rushing to endorse Trump or jump on the campaign trail for him. Her priorities were clear. Get things done, stay out of the political mudslinging. For a while, it seemed like this relationship could be mutually beneficial. Kardashian got what she wanted and Trump got a glowing headline about how he was working to fix the broken criminal justice system. But as with all celebrity alliances, it didn't last. Quid pro quo? According to Jonathan Carl's book, Tired of Winning, there was more to Trump and Kardashian's relationship than meets the eye. Carl reveals that Trump allegedly demanded a quid pro quo from Kardashian in exchange for the pardons. He reportedly asked her to use her celebrity connections to bring some football stars to the White House. Because naturally, what better way to celebrate criminal justice reform than with a bunch of NFL players? Kardashian, seeing this as a small price to pay for justice, actually tried to fulfill Trump's request. But in true Hollywood fashion, no one wanted to get too close to Trump at that point. As Carl puts it, Trump had become too toxic for even Kardashian's celebrity pals. Despite her efforts, the players declined the invitation and Trump didn't get his photo op. Now, Trump may have thought this was just a harmless favor, but to the celebrities Kardashian reached out to, it was political suicide. The entertainment world had already made it clear where they stood on Trump, and joining forces with him, even for a good cause, was simply not worth the social media backlash that would follow. Khloe Kardashian, The Ugly Truth. Now, let's pivot to another Kardashian, Khloe. While Trump's relationship with Kim was complicated, his disdain for Khloe was anything but. In fact, Trump never missed a chance to make his feelings about Khloe abundantly clear. During his time as host of The Apprentice, Trump reportedly called Khloe the ugly Kardashian and a piglet. Ouch. These comments, which surfaced in media reports over the years, cemented Khloe's dislike for Trump. For Trump or any human being to judge someone off looks alone or call someone that's really an easy thing to say. I mean, it's really yeah. easy to critique someone on looks. I think that's 
really immature and cruel. And not very cool. Mm -mm. Like it's really uncool. Uncool. <laughs> it's like, what? Don't be uncool. Don't be uncool. And the feelings seemed mutual. Trump later admitted that he and Chloe never got along great and that their relationship had little chemistry. But even in 2020, Trump couldn't resist taking a dig at her appearance, remarking, she looks so much different today. I saw her fairly recently. Better? She looks better. Well, thanks for that, Donald. For anyone who's followed Trump's career, it's no surprise that he would make comments like these. He's built an entire brand around saying the unsayable, often to the detriment of his own image. But his remarks about Chloe are particularly telling as they reveal just how deep his resentment of the Kardashian family runs. Kardashian West divorce and Kanye's spiral fast forward to 2021, and Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's marriage has unraveled. While this is par for the course in celebrity circles, it also marked a turning point for Trump's relationship with Kanye. Kanye's increasingly erratic behavior, including his controversial dinner with white supremacist Nick Fuentes, led Trump to distance himself from his once loyal supporter. Trump never won to mince words, called Kanye a seriously troubled man, and advised him to drop his political ambitions because he can't win. It was a cold, hard reality check from one political outsider to another. Kanye, for his part, didn't seem to mind. He was already knee-deep in controversy. The relationship between Trump and Kanye is a microcosm of Trump's larger problem with celebrity endorsements. For years, Trump relied on famous faces to bolster his public image. But as his presidency wore on, those faces began to fade away. Kanye's departure from Trump's inner circle wasn't just a loss of a high-profile supporter. It was a sign of things to come. The glitz and glamour of celebrity endorsements had faded, leaving Trump with fewer allies in the entertainment world. Kim's Political Journey While Kanye was busy spiraling, Kim Kardashian was carving out her own political path. Her work on criminal justice reform gained widespread attention, and she continued to advocate for nonviolent offenders even after her ties with Trump cooled. But here's where things get interesting. Despite their past collaboration, Kardashian never publicly endorsed Trump during the 2020 election. Instead, she kept her cards close to her chest, waiting for the right moment to weigh in. And when she did, it wasn't with a bold statement or a press conference. Nope, it was with those three little blue hearts after Joe Biden's victory. It was a subtle yet powerful message that left Trump fuming. This, in Trump's mind, was the ultimate betrayal. Kardashian, the woman who had once relied on his power and influence, had chosen Hollywood over him. For Kardashian, her political journey was never about party loyalty. She was focused on issues, not candidates. Her goal was to reform the criminal justice system, and she was willing to work with anyone who could help her achieve that. In 2018, that person happened to be Donald Trump. But by 2020, with the political landscape shifting, Kardashian was ready to move on. She didn't need Trump anymore. And in her world, that meant it was time to part ways. Trump hangs up on Kardashian. According to Jonathan Carl's book, things reached a boiling point when Kardashian reportedly tried to reach out to Trump for another favor. She wanted his help with a pardon, but this time, Trump wasn't feeling so generous. In fact, he flat out refused to help her. Hell no, he reportedly told her. You voted for Biden and now you come asking me for a favor? Ouch. If there was any hope of reconciliation, it was dashed in that phone call, which ended with Trump hanging up on her. So much for old alliances. Trump's reaction to Kardashian's request is classic Trump. Loyalty above all else. In his mind, if you're not with him, you're against him. And if you've publicly supported his opponent, you might as well be dead to him. The fact that Kardashian had once worked with Trump on a shared goal didn't matter anymore. She had crossed a line by endorsing Biden. And for Trump, that was the ultimate sin. Trump's relationship with celebrities. Trump's feud with Kardashian isn't exactly an isolated incident. Over the years, his relationships with celebrities have been a roller coaster of public alliances and bitter fallouts. From once being a media darling to becoming a divisive political figure, Trump has navigated the celebrity world with the same finesse he applies to Twitter rants. He's had public spats with everyone from Rosie O'Donnell to Meryl Streep, 
and his friendship with celebrities often seems contingent on how useful they are to his image. Kardashian, once a symbol of his willingness to work across the aisle, is now just another name on his ever-growing list of feuds. But the Kardashian-Trump fallout stands out because of its personal nature. Unlike many of Trump's celebrity feuds, this one wasn't just about politics, it was about loyalty. Trump believed that he had helped Kardashian in a way no other president would have, and in return, he expected her to stand by him. When she didn't, it wasn't just a professional disappointment, it was a personal one. Ivanka and Kim, an unlikely bond. But not all of Trump's ties to the Kardashian clan are severed. Ivanka Trump, Donald's daughter, has maintained a relatively friendly relationship with Kim. The two bonded over prison reform, and Ivanka's husband, Jared Kushner, even helped arrange meetings between Kardashian and Trump. Despite Trump's current bitterness toward Kim, Ivanka seems to have kept the lines of communication open. Ivanka and Kim's friendship has made headlines over the years, most recently when Kardashian invited Ivanka to her 43rd birthday bash. While it may seem odd to see Ivanka mingling with Hollywood elites, it's clear that her relationship with Kardashian is still intact, even as her father's crumbles. This friendship speaks to Ivanka's ability to navigate the tricky waters of celebrity and politics. While her father's brash style often burns bridges, Ivanka has managed to maintain relationships with people from all walks of life. Her bond with Kardashian is a testament to her more measured approach, one that contrasts sharply with her father's tendency to hold grudges. The Politics of Celebrity as the 2024 election looms, Trump's relationship with celebrities will once again come into play. He's no stranger to using his star power to drum up support, but with fewer Hollywood allies by his side, his strategy may need some rethinking. Celebrities like Kardashian once helped bolster his image as a president who could cross boundaries and appeal to different demographics. Now with his celebrity connections waning, Trump may need to find new ways to stay relevant in the ever-evolving political landscape. The reality is that Trump's star power isn't what it used to be. In 2016, he was able to tap into the cultural zeitgeist in a way that few politicians could. He had the backing of high-profile celebrities like Kanye West, and his larger-than-life persona made him a natural fit for the reality TV generation. But in 2024, things are different. Trump's brand is more polarizing than ever, and celebrities are less willing to risk their reputations by aligning with him. Conclusion The End of a Hollywood Alliance In the end, the story of Trump and Kardashian is one of alliances built on convenience, rather than genuine friendship. While they may have shared a stage during the heights of Trump's presidency, their differences were always bubbling beneath the surface. Kardashian, ever the Hollywood insider, was never going to stay loyal to Trump's political brand, and Trump, ever the showman, was always going to take it personally. As Trump continues his journey toward another presidential run, it's unlikely we'll see any more collaborations between him and Kardashian. The era of prison reform, photo ops, and Oval Office meetings is over, and what's left is a fractured relationship built on blue hearts, bitter phone calls, and the eternal question, was it all worth it? Former president's well-known supporter and controversial rapper Kanye West drove up to a Trump rally in his $1.2 million Tesla Cybertruck. The rapper spotted the pro-Trump crowd and decided to pull over. The crowd waiting for Trump's motorcade went wild as soon as they realized that it's Kanye West and his wife Bianca Sensori in the Cybertruck.